Hey, welcome back to Icarus Modding. Today I'm going to go over the latest update to the Icarus Mod Manager. Uh, this is a pretty big release I just did. Uh, version 1.6.7. So we're going to go ahead and get into it. Uh, the first thing you'll notice when you run it here is the check for IMM update. This will check my github page to see if there's an update available and if there is you can simply click on it and it will update your version that you currently have on your computer and restart it uh, this hopefully eliminates a lot of the issues with some of the new people trying to figure out how to upgrade each version and this also allows me to put out more upgrades a little bit quicker because i don't have to worry about you know, the hassle of going through and updating for everybody when it's just a one click button, it's easier for the uh, updates to be made more often. So I'm going to go over some of the changes with the UI. As you can see, these go all the way up to the top now. I feel it gives you more room for the more mods to be installed. Uh, clicking on them. There's no longer a large picture in the middle. There's a smaller picture up in the upper right hand corner and it gives more of a detail. Uh, there's been a lot of questions about mods and what they do. So I figured this would be a better form to be able to kind of see the images, what they do and be able to read the readme files and stuff too. And you'll also see that it currently has the version. Uh, I did a lot of changes to the core code in the mod manager to actually create like a somewhat of a database for each mod to where it keeps track of what version you currently have in stored, installed for the uh, database updates. Uh, you can also change the way you do skins. So if you go to your settings and right click anywhere on here, it is now by folder. So you can change the skin folder and it comes with a new skin and the original skin. I'll go ahead and select the new skin and all you do is select the folder and it uses the any file and all the images and buttons inside that. So just select folder and then we'll go ahead and restart. And as you can see, it has the new skin on here. The, uh, another feature I added on the left hand side now, if you right click, you can open your mods folder and it will go ahead and open your mods folder in your game. Uh, I had this requested a lot for people that wanted to share their mod, excuse me, so they don't have to go through their files, open their fold. Excuse me, open their folder and uh, select it. You can now just right click and select open mods folder and it brings you right to it for easy share. Uh, some of the other things is uh, create zipped xmod file. Uh, this has been the version 1.6.8. This has changed to just create xmod z, z file. Uh, that's the new file format that I came up with for mods to where you don't have to update them every week. It's basically just a zipped file that contains only the changes that were made to the game instead of all the files. So you won't have to re-download them every week and update them or anything like that. Once the mod developers host them on their GitHub, you can just download them and they're already up to date because they only contain the changes. Uh, some of the other features I'm going to go over one of the biggest features is you'll notice there's a new button here to download mods. We've come up with a database online. So you no longer have to sit there and search and trying to find out where the mods are for you to download and install. You can simply click on this button and it will open this up. When you first open this up, you're going to want to, in the upper right hand corner, click the update local database. 
and you can see down here on the left it's starting to go through and compare double checking all the files and it's already done the first time you run this after you've installed this the first time you run it it's going to take a while because you can see down here in the lower left it has 135 mods it found so all the readme files and the images uh, when you click on some of the ones that have images you can see that loads that so what it does the first time you run this is it will download all those images and the readme files and store them like in a catch folder inside the Icarus mod manager folder so when you go through these it's not downloading them from the internet and you can see the response is instant so when you're scrolling through all the mods you don't have to wait for them to download Every time you change it, there it's instantly because it's reading it from that catch file or catch folder on your computer. So once you update the local database, you can go through it and you see all the mods. Uh, the button in the upper left hand corner, display all mods, does just that. It displays all 135 of them or however many are available. Uh, if you want to go by author, you can click on this and you'll see all the authors for all the mods. So if you click on mine, you can filter it, click the filter, and you'll see it's only my mods that show up. Uh, they're all grayed out. Because like I mentioned before, now when you install a mod in Icarus Mod Manager, it'll keep track of what version you have. So if you look at this, like my custom puck lights, I'm on version 3.0 and the installed version is also 3.0 so that's why it's grayed out because we have the same version installed so if I only had version 2.0 installed this would be red showing you that there was an upgrade to your current version that you have installed and then to install the new one you just simply double click this and you'll see it's already doing it and it says that it's been added it's that simple just double click whatever mod you want and it'll install it into the Icarus mod manager. So if I go to somebody's that I don't have installed, filter Dexters, if you go through and say you want the maxi stacks, you would just simply double click that and it's already been installed. Um, if you want to search each one of these, you just Click all mods and then you can just type in here like food and then you can search all the descriptions and it brings up any mods that have to do with food or you can search by title and well there's no food titles that contain food but so you got a way to search through all the mods and then the last button over here on the right is the show GitHub links for repos. If you click on that, it will show you the links to all the modders repos, their GitHub links. So if you were to go on mine and double click it, it will go ahead and bring up mine or who, whichever artist you click on. So if you were to go on Fritz, you would see all his show up. So put a lot of work and effort into this database to get this up and running. Uh, we're hoping it eliminates a lot of the issues with people being able to find mods. So you'll be able to have them all pretty much right here at your fingertips. Just to click away. And as you can see, the ones that get installed turn gray. It's showing you which ones you currently have already installed. And then the other ones you just double click and install them. And just like that, it installs them. So let me close this down. And as you can see, the Dexter one and that last one have already been installed. Just like that. Uh, some of the other features that I've added. When you click these and add them to the list here. You can load the list, save list, clear list, 
open mods folder, I put it in this one too. So you can go ahead and open your mods folder from, from this area or this area. And the next section, if you go into your settings and enable mod developer, this is more for people that create mods for Icarus. You will see another button show up here that says show developer form. Uh, there used to be just a little section in the settings that would bring up a couple options to create. Uh, I decided to do a full form because of all the changes we've made. As you can see, when you click on a mod, it actually has all the database settings built right into the XMOD file. So that's how I can tell whether the mod you have in is version 1, 2, or 3, or whatever, and compare it is by using this new system. I'm going to go more in depth on this later as kind of like a mod update video to help uh, guys create their mods and release them easier than typing all the stuff in. Uh, but that's, that's pretty much it. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you hit the like button and subscribe if you're uh, interested in Icarus modding. And the next version I release will have more in-depth as far as the uh, database system and what's displayed on here. And possibly with the dedicated servers coming out, I'm considering doing an FTP client installed in here so when you add the mods you'll have a separate page that you can set up for your FTP and when you click install listed mods not only will it put this in your mods folder but it will also put in your dedicated servers FTP folder for the game so like I said if you guys enjoy these use this uh donations are always appreciated uh hit the like button subscribe and we'll see you in the next version thank you